Ten seconds remaining. Puck. Pretty well with a refraction, he's guaranteed to get the farm, and, and it's just uh, up to how much better United can do to annoy him. And we're going to see another rotation here. Scrum he's coming in, he's looking for the telekinesis, and he's going to find it this time. Is this going to be enough damage to bring down Limp? He's got a few ball charges, but it's not going to be enough. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your first blood there, as uh, the harassment is just too much for the TA. So what can he get that is really impactful early on? He could look for something like a mech for the team if he can afford it, but I think they need to get that on the darks here. Trian doesn't have the monopole for it. Limp here, he's got a haste and he's going to chase down Paris. The kinetic field will trap the darks here as well. There's nowhere for Paris to run. He's looking for a potential denier. At the same time, Sing Sing's actually gone down live. on the top lane. This might be another kill if they can find one more click. No, it's not quite enough here with the regen. Paris is going to stay alive without the telekinesis. They're trying to turn around on Limp and they're going to be able to get the kill. Murder United finding the TA. They did lose Sing Sing though on the top lane, so it does end up being kind of a global one for one trade there between the sides but two big heroes dying and maybe in bottom lane NRP might find more here going on to Minus they've got three of them here there's nowhere for Minus to run they should be able to find us with the blast they'll get that kill and that's the money in the pocket of error yeah, they're going to transition this into some damage on the bot tower now. They are playing... Oh, oh, top oh. lane! Yonis and Fan just outplaying Sing Sing. That's going to be another kill him within a matter of a minute there on the top lane. I mean, Yonis and Fan, that's pretty big getting two kills onto the Sing Sing Weaver. He killed him without even having Dream Coil. With yeah, Nether Ward next to it, as well as a Tombstone, I still think Pardon United's team fight is weak. But the thing about their lineup is they could probably avoid that fight from happening if they if they do it right as up. Oh. Yeah, mid lane, the Nether Ward's been dropped, the Tombstone is really now getting the Dream Call into both Paris and Necroman. Necroman's gonna fall, can they find the dogs here as well? You get the vacuum on the wall off onto five. It's very pretty, it's very fancy, but is it enough? Come with me coming in as well. He wants to try and turn this one around for the team. They do find the kill onto Error. But now NRP, they want to continue to chase this. Jonas and Fan looking for Paris. Blinks forward. Will find the kill as he gets himself a double kill. And NIP, they won't come with me here as well. Come with me trying to do his best here to keep himself alive. It's not going to be enough. That's going to be another kill for the side of NIP. And they take the fight there. Three for one in the mid lane. I'm actually pretty surprised. The cooldown we're seeing on the wall is that going to be available anytime soon? Such a good place to fight for Lish, though. They want to jump in, and here we go. They're going to be able to catch them before Rush has dropped down. The Tombstone will be put down as the high ground, and then they find this one. Vacuum to three here. Who's going to be the first to fall? It looks like it's Sing Sing. They did bring down Error. Now with the split off onto Seal Kid, Necroman moving forward will find the kill there as well. It's going to be a two for one. Liv wants to try and find some revenge, and he will get it as he brings down the Lesh Round, making it a three for two. And now Minus being chased down by the zombies. Jonas and Fan's here as well. It's a double kill for Jonas and Fan. A double kill kill for Lim. There's going to be a buyback from the Rubik, but I don't quite know what's going to be able to achieve it. It is just come with me in Paris, left alive on the side of Burden United at this point. Jonas is really doing work in these fights, finding a lot of really good silences and just dealing a lot. And they're looking to try to fight for this. The question is, are they going to be on time? Tombstone will be dropped by Hanskin. And they're actually going to find Come With Me here on the sidelines first. So Come With Me is just going to turn around with the Oh, Necroman is just I actually think. just taking it. That Not is being off that slow and just getting destroyed by Limp. Things trying to turn it around here with the Desolate and the BKB. He's going to look for Silkin, but the Glimmer Cape is going to do damage and they're going to turn around here as the Silk is just kept alive. This is really painful for Sing Sing. Oh, he doesn't know what's going on. With the Axe indeed going for the BKB. And now they might lose Silkin, but now Limp is coming in trying to clean up here with these Desolate hits. The damage is too much. Haskin gets a double kill. They're going to find Minus here as well as the Mel flies through. And Limp, on contrary to his name, he's going hard and he's unstoppable. Four heroes on the deck for Burning United. Rubik ended up buying back and well, Yonison fan is looking for it. He's not going to find it, but I don't think he cares because this has given NRP more than enough space to find Roshan, get the Aegis onto TA, and that was not the fight that Burning United were looking for. Self into position. Yonison fan, he's going to find come with me. Rubik's getting caught out here. He's managed to steal the tombstone, just drop it down in the midst of this fight. Now Minus here with him, but let just BKPs, they'll take down the tombstone. Paris gets the wall down. The right clicks from Sing Sing, they're not enough to bring down Hansken. Paris is going to Full hits the punches of Lim. And now Lim, he might find Sing Sing as well as the static song gets dropped. They control the Weaver. Can they find anything else in Necromancer popping EKP? He's trying to turn it around. Lim getting low. But Lim now with the melt with the refraction. He keeps himself alive here, being healed up by error. And Lim, he wants to go back in. He wants to find Minus. He gets a couple of punches out. Now he turns towards Necroman. He kills the left track on a monster kill streak. And now is this gonna be it? No! They find four double kill for error. And now the racks are exposed. There's nothing that Burning United can do to stop this one. And NIP will clear out the mid lane. They might even find my notes as well. It does connect. Limp thinking forward. He wants blood. He wants more. He wants it now. And now Hanskin on a killing spree. GG is called. NIP is too much for Burden United. And game one goes to the Swedes. Wow, that was... That was actually ridiculous how much they just managed to accomplish in the last three minutes of that game. That was... And it's just... I, 
I feel like Britain United's last two or three team fights were just disconnected. Like, some heroes go in, some stay outside, and this last fight in the base, you see overgrowth being used, Darkseid goes in and uses the whole package, and Lushrak is on the outskirts of the fight, not using BKB, not committing in together with the team, and lose the exchange. Just raw, both mana and health, it does not favor you. So, oh, it's actually, unless you do this. Yeah, minus the rotation right 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 from the Shaker, first blood. That's first pretty big, then. Yeah. If you, you pull it off like that, then. Sure. Yeah, he just was not expecting Minus to be there, and, well, that's going to be, as you said, 1 to 0. And the other lanes at the moment looking pretty stable for uh, Burden. This bottom lane, the lead uh, on the high ground, Seal Kid is ready and waiting. They'll be a charge onto Lim. Are they going to go for this? Looks like Paris wants to. Finds the, finds the Bastion. Now Necromant blinking forward. Can they bring down this Ledge Rack? He's taken down, and now with the full of Fisher, that's going to be enough. Oh, and Paris is going to live. I guess the sound Necromant oh. is... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the Spirit Breaker lives, but the Queen of Pain dies. So, uh, there's a one for one in the mid lane. You yeah, try the safer play. Yeah, they might try to go for more here. Necromant blinking for the bit of charge forward as well, coming from Paris. They've got the Fisher to catch out Lesh now with the Sonic Wave. They bring down the Lesh Rack, and now they might turn for more here. Necromant's got to run. He's not going to get away. Here's the Thunder Strike coming in from Handscan as the TP's in is enough. Now they might even find more of the side of NRP. They're going to look for Minus as well as they trip him over the Kinetic Field. The right clicks, they're bringing him low, and they're bringing him down. They get the Earth Shaker too. Paris is looking for Bashes, isn't going to find them. And even though they lose the Lesh there, NIP able to find something in return. Uh, very, very <laughs> fast in the kinetic field there, Henskin. That was... She didn't really counter the Legion Commander at all in lane, so... Oh, there we go. That's a free field there for the side of Burning United. Leading him with the Fisher. The follow-up damage is a lot. And oh, he's going to try for that duel. He that is? is not go he's not going to win it, I think. He's got he's gonna, film on the spin no, he win it. They get the kill. They get the kill. Yeah. Don't get the jewel, they might find a double, they do, they get the come with me there as well as uh, CM's pull back into it. Handscan will get caught out there by the side of Burning United, so be you able to find something in trade. As a TP from Aaron, he wants blood, he wants to find something from this fight. Minus running in place, now with the Bashes, this could be unfortunate for Aaron, can they blow him up? No, he's able to blink himself away, and oh, they'll lose Paris here, and Sig Sig is the only one left alive for the side of Burning United, and Aaron blinking forward, maybe wanting to go for this one. The Searing Chains will hold him back though. And Sing Sing will escape, but well, Burning United losing four heroes there. Not a healthy fight for the side of the Radiant. I'll execute better. Sing Sing's pretty TP. Has spotted out hands, can of course. He's going to walk into Limp, and uh, it's been Thunderstruck. Can they find the glimpse here to follow up as well? They're going to slow with the Lightning Storm. They're looking to catch it out. They'll get the glimpse into Static Storm. The jewels there as well, and more damage into the pocket of Jonas and Fan. And maybe they'll find themselves more kills. Arrow's moving forward. The Fisher will hold him back, but he's going to have the blink. He doesn't use it. He just blows up the sea, and they're with the point. Minus gets the Echo Slammer, but it's not enough to kill anyone. Double kill for Error. Three heroes down on Burning United, and NIP lose nothing there in the mid lane. And they win another duel. 30 damage now on Legion Commander, minute 14. They're going to lose the tower as well. By the looks of it, if Eric gets this last hit, it's going to be his Battle Fury as well. And, yeah. There Radiant's we go. middle tower has fallen. So, as you said, I mean, pretty respectful. Uh, around, around 15, which. Which tried to I was comparing, I was thinking back to, you know, lane creeps are, are just creeps in general are worth a bit less now, so, of course, the, the Battle Fury timings of old, if you're just free farming, you could probably add about a minute okay. to the actual timing, so this compared to an old Battle Fury in the Daedalus or something with that ridiculous damage output. And this right, they're going to lose the map before he gets to that. Paris is going to look for Seal Kid, he's got the Nether Strike as well, he needs a couple of Bashes, there we go, he's going to find them there, and he does get the kill onto the Rubik, uh, Limp finds the slow with the Lightning Storm, they've got the Thunder Strike as well, do they want to glimpse this one back, do they want to look to try and fight it, they're going to go for it, Eros there, the party one gets dropped down, but Sing Sing's turn, and this time it's Birdie United and looking to go on the offensive, they find Handscan, can they find anything more, Limp's trying to find this, the Echo Slam holds him in place, Jonas and Fan looking to duel, oh, come with me, but come with me, he's not going to die in this duel, he'll be able to get the Frostbite off, he still goes down there, Jonathan Fan gets the final hit through. It ends up being a two for two. The question being, is anything else going to come of this one? Arrow moving towards the mid, mid lane. Nah, he doesn't blink in the direction of Minus. Jonathan Fan potentially looking for a wrap round, and they haven't got a vision of him, and Minus will be able to get himself out. So, well, they do lose the Ember, and they, oh, they might lose Paris here. Jonathan Fan blinking in very aggressively here, and can he find this one? Yes, he can. It's another kill there for Jonathan Fan here on the Legion Commander, ensuring that the trade goes three for two, and NIP come out on top. And a lot of that is distributed onto the AM, who is soon doubling up the net worth of the Emperor Spirit. If it continues this way, it's seen. In remnants into the Static Storm, and it will get blown up by the Mana Void. That's two heroes dropping on the side of Burning United. They might lose three as well as Minus. He's left all alone here. He's just trying to look to see if he can get himself positioned for an Echo Slam. He looks for the TV, but the Glimpse will be there to cancel. There's your Echo Slam. It doesn't do an awful lot. It's causing a little bit of an issue, but they should still be able to find this one. They're trying to give the, the jewel to the Innocent Fan, and there we go. He finds it. More damage for the Legion. 
Dragon Commander. 44 bonus damage now. And again, Burning United losing three heroes and taking nothing from the Sudden Ninjas in pajamas. And Jonas is very close to a BKB as well. This is a very successful Legion Commander game, which I feel like is pretty rare nowadays. A lot of the time it just seems very underwhelming, but they've definitely made it work in this game. Uh, with the BKB, he can pick any target and he will win the duel. Either he will kill them or just win. And you've got the moment. Frozen Echo Slam. Jonas stopped this animation, but I won't be surprised if just continues to go for it. Yeah, Blinks 4, who wants to fight it? And in fact, Jonas and Fan gets there in time for the duel. More damage for the Legion Commander. And more kills for the side of NIP. Sing Sing getting caught out. They fought the perfect timing there with the split up. The telekinesis to hold him in place. Sing Sing goes down. Necromant jumps forward. He pops the BKB. It's not going to keep him alive there from the physical damage and limp. And uh, well, this is three heroes now sitting on the sidelines for Burden United. And at 24 to 8, this. So, we need a miracle for Burden here. They really do. I think the only way I really imagine it was with a really great Echo Slam from Minus, but he's decided to play two Bracers instead. Oh, so. I mean, the, the AM Illusions just going in there onto the CM. But they have the overwhelming odds. That's the kill. The Fry of the Fisher that thinks he's trying to do what he can, but he just doesn't have any damage at this point to deal with what ended up here. We've got and Jonas and Fan just jumps straight in with the duel onto Sing Sing. He should be able to find that one, and then he indeed he does wins the duel. Now with the mana board and onto the quad. That's another kill. And well, GG is called and I think they do it. And they're making themselves to tomorrow. They're going to be part of the final four teams that we're going to see. It is going to be Alliance, Na'Vi, VP, and finally NIP and Bernie United, Well Cinderin. It is unfortunately for them the end of the road. Yeah, NIP were just pretty much, at least in the second game, they just outclassed them. In, in game one, Burden showed some, some really good promise and Ultimately, they just, they, they fell to, I don't want to say lack of experience, but more just lack of team cohesion, which NIP have in spades. They are very good at, it's just in general, when you see them at events, they always keep...